What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Cash King Estuary Rod. It's part of their um, intro series here. Beautiful rod. Absolutely love it. Definitely going to be a vital um, necessity when I'm out there on the water. Um, I'm a little sick if you can't tell already. I'm a little under the weather here. And uh, But anyways, we're going to be looking at the Cash King Estuary Rod like I've said thus far. Um, beautiful rod here. Um, I've got it paired up with the Zephyr reel. Um, technically not an intro reel that they make. I believe they do. Um, I haven't really checked out the website myself. Um, but outstanding rod and reel combo. Um, smooth as all get out. I'm sure it's going to hold up well as long as you keep carrying maintenance. That's key. Um, after every you know fishing trip, um, whether it's been beat up or dumped in the salt water, or if it even like touched it, you always want to make sure because that salt will really get to the... Um, the inside and tear up those bearings and really eat at them but anyways one thing about the um, saltwater and corrosion is these guides they've got these American tackle guides integrated into them along at the base eyelid here um, is a microwave guide it's got a little little loop there I don't know if you can see it but that really helps you with cast 20% um, further you really extend those casts not only does it extend your cast it uh, prevents it from knotting up um, wind knots and stuff. Spinning rods tend to do that um, often. And then it also um, silences it. Um, I've got it 20 pound test, well, along with 20 pound mono, a uh, liter, probably three or four foot from the bait itself. Um, what we were throwing around today was this 316 ounce jig head and a white DOA paddle tail. Um, they seem to love that pulling it right off the oyster beds. Absolutely crush them. Uh, didn't do as hot as I was expecting to today. Can't always make it happen, but let's get off. I want to start showing off this rod real quick. Um, it's beautiful aesthetically. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Love that um, aqua blue, whatever color you would like to classify that as. Just a gorgeous rod. Um, and then you've got this beautiful custom reveal seat. One thing I like about that is this um, this little divot here really allows you to get a grip on it um, and then it's tapered off at the bottom um, and then it allows you to have more foam, more comfort. You can really rest that thumb there, get a better grip on it. Not only that, it allows you to keep yourself out there all day long without any un uncomforts um, rather than, you know, sitting there with a big old broomstick all day and trying to whack a fish. They make seven six or seven different um styles of this they go they range from seven all the way to eight foot i've got the seven six medium heavy um i believe it's fast let me see yep fast um so that's really good for like popping corks and stuff um but another thing is i haven't got my hands on it um other than right now honestly and taking it out of the package is they make a bait caster version of this um so for you guys that like to throw like spooks um, or big like big heavy jigs and like big hair jigs. This is the rod for you I mean, it's re it recommends like 10 to 20 pound line um, But it's a big cast so you can literally throw like 40 pound braid on it and not have a problem Just run like a 20 pound leader to it and you're set. I mean you can go out there and whack them um, One thing, they may not look like it, but they are light as all get out um, Considering its strength its strengths hold it. Yeah, I mean usually you have to give up strength to have um, a more parabolic light rod, um, but that's not the case with casking estuary rods. They uh, they definitely hold their strength out there, and um, mm, mm. I really want to get my hands on this. I just need to get a bait caster to throw on it, well, bait caster reel to throw on this, and I'll be set. But um, they make six models of this as well, and uh, absolutely gorgeous. Same thing. Um, they have that microwave um, integrated guide in there which is perfect for the um, wind knots, distance. I mean, you already get so much more distance out of a bait caster. I don't know how much more you could want. you got to have enough room to set the hook on them as well. But that's where the strength comes in. That's where the strength is necessary. Um, but enough talking. I just want to show off that rod and real combo I have there. And that's what we're going to be using today. And I also want to show off the bait caster version. I feel like that's not a very well-known rod, um, especially for inshore. A lot of people throw spinning rods for, you know, saltwater fishing. But enough talking. Wanted to do a little ad there. Sorry you guys didn't like it. Um, 
hope you guys can stay tuned. Stay tuned for the fish catch. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. And let's get out there on the water. <clears throat> Cas King Estuary. Paired up with the Zephyr Reel. This little thing around. You might catch a jack or something. I don't know. Aiming for a snook or a tarpon. That was that a fish? Is that an oyster? Please tell me that was an oyster. Oh, come on. I just scared something. I knew there was something sitting there and I catch it right on top of it. That's a fish. That's a fish. Golly, he's running. Golly, he's running. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Nice one. Come on. Come on, buddy. A nice red. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, run me over there. Run me over there. Run me over there. That's an old fella too. Come on. There we go. There we go. That is a solid fish. Holy cow. That is some redemption right there. The one I hooked earlier was about 20 inches longer than this one, but this is a stout fish. This is healthy. After a long day of fishing, we finally landed one nice red, beautiful fish. Hooked into one of about 20 or 30 inches longer than this. I'm telling you, it was a nice fish. Um, on the estuary, throwing the paddle tail. We lost our little flare hawk earlier, um, beating it against the wall there on the bridge. But he's going to release him. this beautiful. Probably the biggest I've ever seen. It was like eight pounds, ten pounds. Um, I'm out of shape for pushing that kayak. I need to get need to get fit again. Um, but anyways, great all around trip. Caught a decent, nice, you know, some nice fish. That red fish I missed was absolute mondo. Then we caught that one. A little bit of redemption there. And uh, whew, my goodness. But yeah. That's it for the estuary rod and shore combo from Casking, along with the Zephyr reel. Um, great all around reel, smooth. The line was outstanding. They also make that ultra smooth. It gives you the further cast. Um, I feel like I should be helping, but I gotta make my ultra. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for the, today's video. Go ahead and like and subscribe for more content. Comment down below what you wanna see next and y'all stay tight.